Why do we mod the Toyota Tacoma? What are you really looking for? Is it even necessary? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So why do you mod the Toyota Tacoma? And is it really even necessary? You know, I'm out cruising in mine right now, I'm just taking a, another joy ride on a gorgeous Saturday morning. It is 66 degrees, and the Tacoma is digging it. It's loving these temperatures. I gotta say, everything is synced all together well. It's running great. The power is adequate. It feels good. The shifting is nice and smooth. I'm really enjoying this. But I thought I'd get on here and and talk about this a little bit because I was thinking about it myself. You know, I gotta say, for me, this goes way, way back. You know, I've always loved modified trucks anyway. You know, little bits and pieces and things added always look pretty cool to me. Something as simple as just a roll bar on the back, right? But I never really had the confidence to do it myself. You know, I didn't know anything. You know, just some guy. I, didn't, I had no mechanical training or experience or anything like that. So I kind of stayed away from it, you know? Until one day, I guess a, a switch flipped or something, right? And then I decided, ah, the heck, the heck with it. I'm gonna just jump right in and uh, I'm gonna give it a go. What's the worst that can happen, <laughs> you know? So why? Why? I mean, the Toyota Tacoma is an awesome truck right out of the box, right? I mean, it looks good, best looking truck on the road. It's certainly capable, you know? You don't really have to do anything mechanically to it. I mean, I think it's high enough too, the way it's built, that it can clear everything. So there's no real argument that it sits too low and you gotta be able to clear giant tree stumps or something. I mean, and why would you be running over those anyway? I'd just go around them. So, you know, suspensions and lifts and all that stuff, it's not really necessary, I don't think. But why do we do it? What, what is it about the Tacoma? I would guess that probably behind maybe the Jeep, and it's probably a, a tight battle between the two, but the Tacoma, from what I see, is probably the second or first most modified truck or vehicle out there. And I think there's a few reasons why. You know, I, first of all, I think there's a false sense that if you modify the Tacoma, it's somehow going to be better, mechanically, I mean. You know, again, it's perfectly capable the way that it is. And of course, there is a small subset of people out there that really put their trucks through the paces, right? You know, the rock crawlers, the heavy-duty off-roaders, the jumpers, the desert runners, those folks. But that's a small minority. You know, most of us don't do those kind of things with our trucks, either because we don't want to, or we don't live in an area where it's possible, or we're just happy the way that it is, right? But for me, I wanted to customize it, right? I wanted to kind of make it my own, give it my own flavor, you know? Plus, I love doing it, and that's the other part. You know, besides just wanting to turn it into my truck, to differentiate it from all the other ones out there. And there are a ton of Tacomas, you know. As I go out and drive around here this morning, I see them everywhere, especially down here in South Texas. You know, I think the area I'm in is probably the truck capital of the world. You know, there are trucks everywhere. You can't go anywhere without seeing trucks. I would almost say that they probably outnumber the cars on the roads down here. They don't, but almost. So it's kind of fun to differentiate it from all the others. You know, put your own flavor on it. Oh, we have a big giant, what is this? Some sort of a spraying tractor hanging half over the road here. Okay, we got to do a little off-roading. All right, there you go. For you guys that keep asking me, when am I going to go off-road? Right there, I just did. I know you couldn't see it. Trust me, I did. I had to clear that tractor. You might have been able to see it go by. I don't know. We have a second one coming. So I'll be going off-roading twice this morning. Uh, but back to the topic at hand. Probably the biggest reason for me is I just love doing it. I have this little creative itch, I guess. This little uh, 
quality. Uh, maybe it's a disease. I don't know. Uh, all right, here we go. Yep, yep. Yeah, got, a, got a little bit of grass on the side of the road right there, off-roading number two this morning. Uh, but this little desire to kind of get my hands dirty once in a while, right? To, to kind of get out there and play around with the truck. And what I love about the Tacoma is there are so many things, bolt-on type things, that really anybody can do it. I don't think anybody like I was back in the day, should be concerned or be afraid of doing it, right? I mean, until you start ripping into the suspension or maybe the motor, something like that, maybe the electrics, watch what you do there. I've had a few uh, failures in the past myself. But if you don't jump into those kind of things and you stick to the, the simpler type things, the bolt-on type things, anybody can do it. And I got to say, in this age that we're living in right now, and I am a part of it, I guess, in the channel. There is so much instruction out there on how to do things. You really don't need to be worried or afraid to do anything anyway. I, I always say that the internet and YouTube is, is my brain, right? I don't really have to somehow intuitively know how to do things or spend years being educated on how to do things because I can just go to a video or an instruction type video out there and find out how to do things. And in doing that, I can see what the shortcomings are or the pitfalls or things like that, know what to watch out for and accomplish these things on my own. So you really don't have to worry about it anymore. The last thing I'll mention as to why we modify the Toyota Tacoma, again, a truck that certainly doesn't need it, is that sense of satisfaction. You know, if you're like me, there is a lot of satisfaction in completing a project and having it work out right, doing it the right way, having it work out properly. You know, it just feels good when you're done. I'll give you an example. You know, the, the sport bar that I just put on the back, you know, I love the looks of that thing. I will say there was a little hiccup with a couple of bolts that I, I fixed. And that was very satisfying, you know? Knowing that I could take care of a problem that I had and when it was done, it was perfect. It looked awesome. Now, also, there's one little component of that too. How good does it feel when you're out cruising around and somebody compliments your truck, you know? Whether it's out in the wild, you know, maybe at a gas station, just driving down the road. I've had people actually comment as they're walking by my truck while I'm at a stoplight. That's very satisfying. It feels good, you know? Makes you feel like what you did was right and uh, it looks good and other people appreciate it. Even on the web, when you get comments, you know, about, hey, your truck looks good or people that maybe emulate what you were doing, it just feels good. So anyway, there's a few reasons as to why we modify our Tacomas, I guess. I'm curious, why do you mod your Tacoma? Leave a comment, let me know. Also, real quick, I have two additional channels. Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. Check them out. If you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to check that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.